Why don't we just host League of Legends streams? Then we could just talk over them. Yeah, we I, mean, I do. Here. Actually, it would be hilarious to do like one League of Legends cast, not knowing anything about the entire game at all. Anyway, I don't think Austin should be allowed to come because he's yeah. too good at Dota. So I just he would know I don't think Austin should be allowed to come in general. So, yeah, wow. <laughs> orgasm denial for Austin. <laughs> hey, some people are into that. Yeah, I don't it's get that. Like, that is something that I'm not going to suggest is not a thing. And I know I've suggested things like that in the past. It seems like there's a lot of people who are into, like, this guy's about to come and then someone kicks him in the nuts with a high-heeled shoe. It's not <laughs> respectful to the the man, the woman, or the, the shoe designer. Oh, yeah. Sh <laughs> That's not what those shoes really were built for, probably. You want to give me a they seed here? Bust a nut with a heel. Busting, busting. Yeah, I'll give you a seed. Let's do. Yeah, yeah, let's okay. do a standard Isaac. Yeah, I mean, I know you're playing Hitman, but like, but yeah, I'll give you this. Seed. Let's give it a shot anyway. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I'm, let's try it. You're kink shaming a bit? <laughs> no, I, I don't care. I'm over it. Nobody passed a value judgment about it. We're just talking about it. I've decided that I'm into kink shaming. Not that it's my kink, but I'm just like I'm okay with kink shaming. You're okay with it? Yeah. What do you get from kink shaming, though? I feel it's superior. But why? Because I'm like I'm not into that weird shit. Speaking of which, Austin, <laughs> yeah, I got a great question to ask you. You said you were going to talk about it segue? today on the show because it's <laughs> deep in his own asshole. Just to, <laughs> if I was to ask you how you feel about consuming uh, a beverage with dinner, what would yes. your resp what would your thoughts on the subject be? I don't consume a beverage with dinner until the meal is complete. First off, I want to say this is not something I consciously did at one point. It was like that's a good idea. It's just how I've always done it. Okay. But I don't like, I think the reason is I don't like mixing the taste of the <laughs> drink with the meal most of the time. And I like washing the meal down at the end with a beverage. And, I, I, and if I don't have a full beverage, then it doesn't feel complete. If I drink half of it so, during the meal and I want to wash it down, I only got like three sips left. When you go Bev, like <laughs> big style, you go all the way in, you take a full thing of whatever it is you're drinking. Oh yeah, no. I, I whenever I'm done, I'll usually just have a bottle or a full coke or like a bottle of water. I or can't believe that part you either. You drink like a full bottle? Yeah, you gotta well, have a full bottle. Yeah, of course. Well, wouldn't you drink a full bottle? I'm saying you you pace it out over a while. You don't just go all the way in. No, I like guzzle it at the end of the meal. You, too. you like, like chug it? Yeah, I'll be, done, I'll be done. I'll be done within a minute hours? with that drink. Really? Yeah. That's Within so much. See, I was. I recognize that my role in this conversation is to take your semi reasonable opinion and make you look like a fascist, basically. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm reveling in that role as we speak right now. Of course. But you just did it to yourself. No, I mean, I understand. You drink that part the whole, weird. like, 16 ounces of Coke in, in one minute afterwards? Maybe not a Coke. Cokes are a little slower because, you know, the carbonation, carbonation yeah. and the. It kind of burns the mouth a little bit sometimes. Right, yeah, so. I can understand that. But if it's like a bottle of tea or a bottle of water, that shit's gone in a, in a minute or two. It's so depending. weird to me because my philosophy, if I have like a bottle of a beverage, is I, I don't want to drink it all in one go because then I'm wasting the beverage. What do you mean wasting the beverage? Yeah, I, see, I feel that way too. You're, you're only getting one taste of it. That's sustained for a long period of time. You gotta prolong it out and you gotta it's... use it with different flavors to mix it and get the most out of that possibility that you can. I'm not really looking for, but like for me, the the joy of drinking a, a beverage after a meal is the refreshment factor. I like the feel, like it, it washes down the meal. The taste isn't that important necessarily. See so now, why do you drink anything but water then? <laughs> well, well you, get ready for this one. Okay, the taste does matter. I mean, I don't. Well, okay, no. Where did this rumor start? I gotta be mad about this one. <laughs> Someone People said you don't like the I taste of water. water. Yeah. I don't like it. I flavor the water with crystal light. What's the Wait, you hate that? water now? You hate water? I don't like the taste of it. I flavor it. It's boring. Isn't that kind of weird? Yes. No? It's boring. It's what? boring? Why do you think there's such a flavored water market if people didn't find water boring? If water was so amazing and tasteful, how do people make it any money? You can't use that argument for everything. There's a flavored condoms industry. <laughs> Maybe people find condom <laughs> taste boring. I can't judge. You probably taste like latex more than boring. Do I mean, you find latex to be a boring flavor because I, I don't think it is. I think I would rather hey, taste I latex. I, have the experience. <laughs> I think I would rather taste latex than flavored latex, though. Yeah, because how do like you know that? You've never syrup. experienced. Well, I, you know, I've never experienced you know outer space either, but I know it's there. 
<laughs> yeah, but you what don't really have to do anything. anything. <laughs> That's true. As long as we're making perfect similes here. <laughs> I but get it. I was also, uh, I was told, Austin, that you believe that it maybe interferes with digestion in some way. The, wait, what? That consuming a beverage during a meal uh, interferes with digestion. No, I never said that. that is, but do uh, you believe that in your heart of no, hearts? Not at all. It's just usually, I don't know, maybe I just have salty meals too much. <laughs> no, but if you I have salty you meals! Like that must be it. If you have salty <laughs> meals, you yeah, should be consuming the. You should be having water with it, man. What, what if you? What if you were at the bar, and you All know right. you're gonna get like dinner and drinks? Oh God, what do you do then? Yeah, so you order like a fish and chips. Let's not get into the aside <laughs> there. But then you get a beer along with it because everybody's getting a beer. Do you finish the fish and chips before you drink the beer? So I don't know what I'd do. But like, okay, like, you hear me out here again. You're out at a restaurant. Let, let's let's role play this. Okay. We're out at a restaurant. Hey, sir, uh, can I get you guys something to drink? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll have a tea, sweet tea. All right, we'll be back to take your food order in a minute. Come back three minutes later. I give you a sweet tea. Hey, what, what do you want to eat? This place? Uh, I'll, uh, can we have another minute? I'm still deciding, actually. Okay, well, no, honestly, <laughs> you're a little like, too fast. For we only <laughs> sell one thing. It's uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, I'll have a grilled cheese sandwich. I'll have two grilled cheese sandwiches. Well, you must actually. have known that coming in, since it's all they sell. The place well, is called you know, We I'm Only Sell Grilled person. Cheese Sandwiches. So I just don't know why you needed an extra minute because you went to the grilled cheese store that only. Why sells do I have two waiters? Um, yeah, but then weird. you know, I come back like a minute after that, and I go, "Sir, is everything all right? You haven't taken a sip of your tea yet. Do you want me to go no, get I you would, something?" I drink it. When I'm at is a the restaurant, tea not I'll, good. I'll drink the tea. I, I I did this one time. Um, I went to a restaurant with my friend in Houston, uh, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. I had like four glasses of tea before I had my meal. Mm. I lack no self control, or I have a huge lack of self control when it comes to eating things or drinking things before a meal at a restaurant comes. Oh, Nothing is good the next day. Like That's fine, <laughs> maybe pizza is the only magical thing that remains good the next day, and even then, it's still like kind of not as good as it was. It's a different food item. I've gone off on this theory before, but when you order pizza, as far as I'm concerned, you're getting two meals. You, you've yeah. ordered two different kinds of feed, uh, two different kinds of food. <laughs> you guys don't live uh, in the deep south, uh, next to a feed store. In life, I understand. Yeah, exactly. That's a much better way to phrase it. You get you get a hot pizza, you get cold pizza. Well, you get hot pizza, Wait, you get reheated. You only pizza. get hot pizza. No, I don't read. I don't. Why would I reheat it? You yeah, we've had it. this conversation before. Yeah. He doesn't he reheat his pizza. It doesn't make Never. sense to me to reheat it because I want cold pizza. This one isn't a laziness thing. There are cold food items I eat where I'm like, if I was just less of a savage, I would heat this up. I actually prefer a cold pizza though. I think it's the oh. gift of having a shitty palate. Is I don't really mind reheating food. It's the texture. The taste is usually fine, but it gets, it gets all mushy. I just Anything feel like it is... depends on how you reheat it. You know, you can put that the tablet yeah, in true. the oven, and it's this like this is an argument good. where it's like you spend, you might as well make a new freaking meal at that point. Like, <laughs> no one what? wants to reheat. That's a waste of food. No one wants to. Well, that's why you just microwave. No one wants to reheat something in the oven. People are like, oh, you, your pizza, you know, if you put it in the oven with like water and boil it for thirty seven years. What are you years. talking? <laughs> it's like ten minutes on a pizza tray, and you take it out. It's like the microwave, but longer. I don't have ten minutes. All right, when I want pizza, I want pizza now. I'm gonna pop in the microwave for like a minute and a half. <laughs> pop it. How much have you cooked, Austin? Not. <laughs> I'm a little scared about. You pop it in the oven with water and boil it for 37 <laughs> minutes. There was some diagram for someone using a pan and they, they put like a little water in the pan or some shit. I don't know. It was Reading weird. Eating pasta, you sometimes would put a little water in it, but that's like a microwave technique. Actually, I don't know. I don't you know do a little is. dance and then you drink a little water. And um, what you got, you, you got to get it, put love. it in you. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get it in you. And you get down tonight. Like, like Gatorade. Gatorade. Get it in you. <laughs> Exactly I'm cooking right. tomorrow. I have to cook tomorrow. Yeah, I have a you, choice. You got um, the meal Blue delivery Amber. service. Yeah, they're you bringing always have a choice. Kind. You could let it rot. Yeah, it's true. You know, I, live your life. A valid option. I, but Nick, <laughs> I need to know, man, because like I, when I'm at Red Lobster, I'm there for the Cheddar Bay biscuits mostly. Yeah, and the rest that's, is just like you know. That's called self discipline. Well, I mean, it's but the I'm biggest showing of it that I exist in anymore. But, like, I eat a lot of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I think the secret is you actually eat so many Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Oh, you lap. 
you that go you, over the top you finish the like second. exactly you finish one basket they're gonna bring you another one and then you take that basket entirely home that might be the superior strategy but I, I think in the back of my mind I wonder if they would allow me to take them home if I went <laughs> to second basket I think and they then would. I've got to deal with sneaking them out I think if you had one of the uh, if you had one of the second basket they've got no case you ordered that in good faith or at least the appearance of good faith. <laughs> I don't know. They might see through my strategy. I bet other people have formulated the same plan. I think they, they bake it into the price. Oh, then that's not right. I want a discount if I don't eat any. I think you should deserve a discount, honestly, if you if you don't eat any, any Cheddar $2 Bay biscuits. Two dollars off my bill. I would still pay the two dollars, but I tried to make Cheddar Bay biscuits at home once. There was like one of those websites that was like, "We've got the perfect recipe." But then I was like, "I'm not gonna." What? <laughs> yes, the it, best is still low. It, <laughs> we have the hey, it's me. I have the star of chef too. We're gonna make the uh, perfect recipe. We're gonna put red lobster on a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna be your biscuit. That that was uh, an accident, but I'm gonna stick with it. it, it yeah, I like it. My way to do it. Anyway, the whole point was like. They were like, hey, put like a lot of butter in this. And I was like, are you crazy? I have like a human heart. I'm not going to put that much butter in here. <laughs> and then when I tasted it, I was like, this would be a lot better if I had put that much butter in it. Apparently, that's I the, don't like the them secret. very much. You don't I've like never... Cheddar Bay biscuits? Here's the issue. And I, this oh, is probably Jesus the reason Christ. why I don't like them is because I've never been to Red Lobster. I've only had their, you know, in-store version that you make at home. What? Dude. Maybe. Maybe they thought they had an in-store version. Yeah, you can buy in-store oh, yeah, version. Walmart. You make at home. Yeah, they have the like biscuits that you can just pop in and heat up. They're they're branded and everything. That's weird. But they, it wasn't good. So yes. maybe those just aren't good. Maybe you have to have them at the restaurant. The Cheddar Bay biscuits, like I can't imagine someone not liking them. It's like the closest, it's the ideal human food from an evolutionary standpoint. <laughs> it's just like a lot of really bioavailable energy and fat. Not to get off of the water um, conversation this early, but I had another grocery store anecdote. I just want you to, in your head and then out loud with your mouth, uh, come up with the stupidest question you could possibly ask to a staff member at a grocery oh, store. Uh, do you have food? Okay, now take it one step less dumb. <laughs> Just one step slightly less dumb than that. Where do you keep your food? You're so close to the actual <laughs> part was of this, this story. Was this We're, food refrigerated? No, no, that's that's actually too intelligent for this, com <laughs> where, for, for this where, anecdote. Where do you keep the candy? You are so close. Okay, so I was... Oh, okay. wait, wait, please, please. No, no it sounds no, no, like no. you're close. It sounds like you're close. I was going to say, do you have, like, the bread? Can you make me a sandwich? Okay, basically? that's wrong it's direction, but that, still though. pretty close. Um, <laughs> I was in the grocery store, and I was hanging out, like, in the deli section near the front door. Lady walks in. Doesn't look around at all. Just walks in. <laughs> like, looks at the security guard and goes, hey, you guys sell carrots here? <laughs> and I just, like, looked over. Like, is this... A human being from the planet Earth? Is that like a, a wait, mega... Wait, again? Uh, do you guys sell carrots here? <laughs> it's like the biggest grocery store, one of the biggest grocery stores I've ever seen in my whole life. The carrots are in view. You know, you walk into the grocery store, you got the yeah, produce like the right there. Right. Exactly. Right. No, no, you know, impetus to look for carrots. Probably like the third most common vegetable consumed in North America. <laughs> Anyway, the dude is like, yeah, we, we got carrots. They're right there where the carrots always are. Like, if you've ever been into a grocery store, they're in, you know, the, the refrigerated vegetable section. There's like 40 different kinds. She's like, okay, thanks. Maybe she went to another store that didn't have I carrots don't... and was so amazed. <laughs> That they didn't have carrots, that she just had to ask begrudgingly. Well, yeah, like maybe they lied to her at the other grocery store. Well, that, that, that was it. That was it. They lied. I mean, I intersected with her a few times, and she seemed like a relatively normal human being, which... No, not true. So as far as I, I'm concerned, yes. the synthetic skin that the aliens are using to infiltrate our society is working really <laughs> well. Like, batteries are one thing. When I asked the grocery store clerk, I was like, hey, you got batteries? And they're like, yeah, they're in the battery aisle. I was like, okay, I'm dumb, and you're right. I should have, like, looked more before we got into this situation. There's no question about that. You got me. But you could perceive of a situation in which a grocery store would not have batteries. 
But to not have carrots is like, you may walk in and like ask if they have bread. The most logical one you could ever ask a grocery store if they don't have would be light bulbs. Mm, yeah, actually we bought light bulbs yesterday and I was like, where do they keep these? Yeah. Next but to that the garbage is like bags. a 50-50 if they have them or not. Yeah, with the garbage bags. This is just never a problem for Walmart. You don't ask Walmart That's if true. they have something. You yeah, I had to go to Walmart today because mm. I got to work. And it's and President's I, Day. Like, no, I looked down and there's a fucking rip in my crotch. So I was like, <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Yeah. And so it's lucky that like I sit down for the majority of the day and like I'm behind a desk. So like people didn't notice. But like, as soon as like it's like lunchtime, I'm like, well, I know exactly where I'm going. So I had to go to Walmart. So I got, I got pants. Nice. I got like white undershirts, V neck, obviously. And why? Why undershirts? Was your I, shirt ripped all, too? All my no, all my white undershirts are just like gross and like yellow. Mm, yeah. yeah, they they turn sort of like like a weird off white. Yeah, I don't like so that at all. I don't I don't want that. So I got the the new hotness. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Getting crisp. Um, and then I got cat food, because Lady Grey likes to eat. Yeah, that's a good idea. And who am I to say no to her? <laughs> More importantly, why are you Wait, working on I President's gonna... Day? What about President's Day? Don't you get the day off? No, not today. You don't get President's Day off? No. no. Big Tone got today off. I don't know, everyone's like, no. What about Columbus Day? He wasn't even a president. You get Columbus Day off. No, Do we I? Don't. No. How do you know what I get off? You... How do you know when I get off? <laughs> Most Many places only, only give you the you know. main holidays. Labor Day, Memorial Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Uh, what's the other one? Is that it, right? It's usually it. Easter? Oh, uh, Easter, yeah. Good Friday. Man, at GameStop, all you get off is Christmas. Everything else is fair game. Well, that's because you guys have got to be there to suck up the Christmas money that the kids get, yeah. right? Or suck up the holiday yeah, that's money. that's right. I understand that. But I was stoked when, like, on Christmas Eve, Best Buy was open. I was like, I feel really bad for, for everybody here. But yeah. I really need a keyboard, so... You know, that was pretty sweet for me. Oh, yeah, 4th of July as well. Get that off. Martin Luther King Day. Mm, some people. Most no. Really? Most no. In jail, yes. <laughs> what? That's, uh, oh, that's from <laughs> Roundtable, right? Yeah. That's surprising. People thought Rob might have been in jail because he had a shitty webcam. Well, I like how when I joined the call, I was like, it looks like Rob is, like, in a cave in Islamabad or something. Like, whenever <laughs> CNN... <laughs> Would show pictures of like, uh, you know, this is like number six on the FBI's most wanted list. That was exactly the environment Rob was in in his uh, in his webcam. That's the same thing you said about my mic when it was set to my webcam <clears throat> the other day. That I was like I was reporting from Islamabad. Oh, yeah, I just want people to know that I know one city in Pakistan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's also Karachi. So Austin uh, doesn't make, like water. You yeah. Jokes at the cleaner. What a thing that Wait, is. Wait, Austin does not enjoy water. I. I mean, like, I can drink it. It's not like, you I hate like, it. spice it up. What's your thoughts on Gatorade? What's your favorite color? It's uh, red, of course. It's gray. Not no, yeah, red. Red is wrong. Red is peppery. What? <laughs> it's got a little peppery taste to it. No, you're out of your fucking mind. I like jungle green. Don't call it that. That actually no, doesn't <laughs> know what that is. <laughs> is that not what it says on the bottle? That's bottom? not legal in all of America yet. So. Oh. How do you hate? Fruit punch. It's like the, the quintessential flavored flavor. Maybe I'm thinking of Powerade. No, Wait, Quentin what Tarantino is the... Quentin Tarantino is the quintessential. Yeah, what's the quintessential flavored flavor? I don't think it's red. fruit. It's fruit I don't think it's fruit. Orange red. is the Gatorade universal flavor. I thought what? yellow was the universal. Orange is Gatorade. Well, maybe for Gatorade, but for like all things like popsicles, flavored drinks, anything that has those general red, blue, yellow, orange, red's the way to go. You remember, we had the, 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 what is it, the, not Geocaster, uh, Gespionage answer. Guess what was on top? It was red. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. I don't support so I don't that. Believe I think it was for popsicles, specifically. Jungle green. Like, anyone who says blue is, like, still nine years old. Yeah, they also, it's like. It's okay to be nine, Austin. No, nah, you have to think about it. As an adult, you gotta think about it, because it fucks your mouth up. You That's okay. For the rest of the day, you open your mouth. Oh, oh yeah, we we're trying to secure $100 million in angel investing. I'm not going to give that guy a, an equity stake if his mouth's covered in blue. What if he just... <laughs> <laughs> what if he fucked a Smurf? That's that's way worse than you, eating yeah, a popsicle. What if your mouth blew if you fucked a Smurf? I mean, I guess Wait, yeah. <laughs> did, did you let the Does Smurf come in your mouth? You? It was a blow bang. <laughs> Fucking a Smurf is one thing, but I have no respect for you if you swallow their cum. 
<laughs> That's where you draw the line? That's For a figured. smurf, yeah. You don't know, we don't even know what, what species they like are. Blue flavor so things, they've been? <laughs> we don't know the smurf composition. You could have, you could catch something, man. That's where blue raspberry flavoring comes from. <laughs> you never knew, chat. You never knew. That's working in an office, dude. It's all ice cream cake and uh, mayonnaise based pseudo salads. It is like a really pleasant surprise, though. It's like 2 p.m. on a long day. You just had lunch a couple hours ago, and your coworker's like, You want a fudge sickle? <laughs> It's like, I'll give you a you fudgesicle, but you have to drink this along the side of it at the same time. What do you do, Austin? You never drink anything with anything chocolate. That is... You can't. You. Do you not like you? Oh, Ooh, you can have a chocolate drink, but you're gonna have a fucking drink with that chocolate drink? Yeah, chocolate cake. You can combine chocolate and chocolate. You can't combine chocolate and anything else, though. Vanilla. Ooh. For one thing. Drink wise, you're gonna have a vanilla drink with a chocolate drink? Fucking That's coffee. Just excessive. <laughs> yeah, coffee. No, I think it's got like you there. You're, you're changing the rules. Here. You're gonna have like a spot of tea with your chocolate cake. Yeah, why not? No, that's an not. option. Is yeah, gonna... that, that's that seems Wait, oh you were you were thinking I would say no to that. Why do you yeah, got a tea? People breathing. have tea and, and cakes together all the time. Yeah. I don't like chocolate and wine. Cheese and wine, yeah. Chocolate is like a scotch food. Wait, what? Yeah. I've never heard that. Dark chocolate and, and scotch, scotch, man. It's the new never burger and fries. Helen. I like the old burger and fries. Dude, me too. There's a joint near me. It's called Tesaro's. Yeah. Sabaro, they, really they sell pizza burgers. in the mall. They have great, no, Tesaro's. Yeah. Great burgers. Sabaro. Two dollars a slice. They do not serve french fries. That's what? super weird. Someone Ooh. says they serve fries. No. <laughs> no, they don't. Burgers are great. Are they making, they're taking like a stand? They're like I don't, vanilla, I don't it's actually, the finest I didn't, flavors? I've never asked, but I guess I should. Josh I is a really fucking mad. liar. I went there yesterday. Look. Oh, fuck! You go there, but you're not gonna get french fries. You could go there, you never You went really to Tesaro's in Bloomfield. No. Someone needs to go there and take a picture of French fries. <laughs> Did yeah, you, you see that? You take a picture of French fries. Let me let me let's check out and the they, menu. And they they right bet here. make the chef hold up a newspaper with today's date on it. <laughs> yeah. All right. And here's here's the sides that they have. They've got <clears throat> chips, coleslaw, white rice, wait, wait, boiled. Wait 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 wait, 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 stop. Yeah. There's yeah. so <laughs> much to mine there already. You can right, get a right. burger and white rice. <laughs> Yeah, you get a burger and white rice. That's the dumbest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. That's really I'm weird. I'm just saying. Uh, it, well, it exists. But the chip, chips, is it a British place? Yeah, are, no, the, are chips like, fries? These are, these are chips, like not french fried chips. Like, okay. They're potato chips. Are you potato sure? Have you, have you ever right, ordered right. them and so then I'll, seen I'll them? I'll go slow this time. Chips, coleslaw, white right. rice. That one is fucking silly. <laughs> <laughs> this... Boiled red skin potatoes. Okay, yeah. Cauliflower. Broccoli. You don't need salad. both of those. Like, and, no. and but I will say this: they do have home fries. Ah, okay. So they do have a, a kind of fried potato. But it's not French fries. Yeah. Have not you ever French. ordered the chips and seen what they? Uh... Um, I I don't like a lot of restaurant potato chips. Me neither, actually. Because like I like them. I like the chips when they're, they're kind of like that semi soft. But some like a lot of times huh? like they're way too hard. It's just like biting into like a rock. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I don't know what you mean. Get that I, get that chip out of there. Yeah, I do feel you on that. Someone in my chat said I doubt the chips are potato chips. That Unless is a thing. Unless they're here. selectively British for one item on their menu, I don't see that being. No, it's it's no, it it's not French fried, <laughs> fucking English chips, motherfuckers. Yeah. That's Regular. what they want it to be, though. They're we we don't do that, that here. Yeah. The okay the only though. time we would call something chips even at like a british pub in north america it's only fish and chips that they would call it that yes. correct yeah. other they if, if you went on the menu and like in the appetizer section they were like chips and then they gave you french fries you'd be like this i want my money back yeah. it would also be really weird if they wrote fish and fries yeah that doesn't sound right just say fish and chips that's just what you say <laughs> I, you okay. know i haven't had fish and chips since we had that argument fish and, now, and chips fish, fish, fish and chips, and chips. Well, did you see the dude who he ordered cod and chips from a takeout yeah. place, and then yeah, the, he told them to the write, way. if possible, write the best way, or the best utensils to use to eat these on the box, and they said, "Please eat, eat this with a knife and fork." Oh no, I thought you were talking about the other one where a dude took a picture of a menu 
And then that's then leading the question. That's <laughs> best utensils. Well, we did. <laughs> we did have. This. We did have both. Well, he didn't say best utensils. He's, he said like, should I put this or should I eat this with my hands or with a knife and fork? And then they said, okay, please eat this acceptable. with a knife and fork. But then the other guy tweeted us and was like, uh, you know, check it out. And it was like finger foods, and there were fish and chips in there. Yep. And I think it, it might have even said, don't use a knife and fork for this. <laughs> like, on the menu, like, as, as kind of like a, you know, we're badasses sort of thing. Super, that's that's what I've learned about you fucks. You think it's really fucking manly to eat things without a fork. It makes no fucking it is. sense. Shut up, it Josh. It is really manly, actually. Alright, like shut up, Ryan. <laughs> you know, you, you don't get to say Just that kidding. to wait, me, wait. okay? I, you only, you eat the, you eat the fish with the fork, and you eat the french fries, the chips, with your hands. Yes, I accept that. Correct? That's how it works. I eat I, the I, fish I, like a bear out of a stream. I can't say correct mouth. because there is a disagreement. It would be disingenuous to say that's correct. <laughs> but if we lived in a perfect world, that's how everyone would think. Chad, stop saying I have a low T count. Let me show you a picture of my back hair sometime. That we yes, burnt out. show me. We burnt out on the low T count meme. The yeah. chat burned it out. Not it's like, here. Oh, this person did something I didn't like. Low T count. And that's when you know it's burnt out. <laughs> If the Austin, Austin doesn't Austin mix water your... with food in his mouth, he's missing out on half the point of eating. What? Well, that no, that's half weird. the point. You like it's not like we're over here. I hope Austin, you don't have this perception that we're over here um, taking a bite of like uh, you know lasagna while it's in our mouth, drinking a big gulp <laughs> of water and swishing it all around. Wait, do you that. guys don't do that? Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> what? You don't do that though, do you? What are you I'll talking about? Like Kate. that's. What I'll you do? Case. You guys are so. <laughs> Why would you weaken our case like this? <laughs> In this no, most that's critical what you moment. I have to be honest. You eat the food and then you immediately drown it with water. Josh, yeah, I think you might. Chocolate donut and milk is I... delicious. You mix them up. Yeah, I mean, maybe there are some foods and drinks in which you do that, but. Josh. A brownie and milk? It's usually something. Okay, not right chocolate based, you know, dessert goods. Yeah, that doesn't count. Why? I don't know why it doesn't. You get like a like a have a bite of a burger. You just you know drown that in water. No, you drown it with potato salad. <laughs> That's fair. That's so, fair. Whatever you got with you. Seriously? Just have like a little bit just to to lube it up. I'll I'll do it I, under one you're, circumstance. You got saliva to lube it up. Austin, what do you do if uh, if the food's too hot when you take the bite? Oh, you, you go fucking <sighs> man mode it and obviously yeah yeah you open your mouth and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then what happens after that? And you need to take another bite. And then it's what? Too hot. No, you got it. Sometimes you got to take like a little water in there to cool it down. No, I, I never mean, ever cooled it down with water. What in the world? This. I, <laughs> what do you use water for? That you have Drinking. this very specific set of rules. Like, yeah, I've developed the them over my whole lifetime. Josh, you take like a little <laughs> bite of spaghetti. <laughs> yes. Or a big bite of spaghetti. You don't swallow the spaghetti before you take a drink of something. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but Nick, answer the spaghetti conundrum. Uh, no, I wouldn't do it with spaghetti. What would you do it with? What's What's the most absurd food you'd do it with? You think? Uh, Asparagus. Oh, fruit salad with seltzer water. It's like making your own blend of personal fruit drink in your mouth. I feel like this isn't the original question that we are like. So you I don't, don't do it for most about. meals, then? Yeah, you're like Malcolm Gladwelling us. You're exclusively bringing up outliers. I don't know what a non-outlier is in this situation. So like a burger or a steak or something, you wouldn't do it with those, any kind of those meals. I've had I've had a sip. Of this is like, not the question. It's not I've have you. A Coke. It's would you. Yeah, but I have, so yes. No, but we did to this have you learned the error of your ways? No, not at all. I would oh do it my again. Lord. I'm unrepentant, if that's I, what you're asking. I don't know, man. You don't think I'm unrepentant? <laughs> I don't know. This situation is throwing me for a real loop. I thought we were all on the same page here, but... Uh, we're never on the same page. It's, we're all subtly different in our own unique ways. Yeah. Well, when, when Rob's on the show, I gotta know. I have a feeling he's got an opinion. Yeah. I feel like he would, too. And you know what? I You can already concoct you know, the way that Malf would feel about this. You know, he's going to talk endlessly about food pairings that are quite snobby. Oh, you get a little focaccia uh, IPA and mix that with a little shisha leaf? Ooh. Isn't all beer basically bread-based booze? Yeah? I mean, I do... Yeah, I can agree Grain more than <clears throat> bread, specifically, yeah. What do you think bread's made out of, buddy? 
I saw that movie probably in like 1994. That's it, it's funny because it was released in 1996. I don't think so. It was really. He saw the pre-release version. I don't fucking know. He's always had access. I re what's weird is that I remember like I can't remember what I did last week, but I remember that I definitely saw Black Sheep in a hotel with my parents. Before Netflix existed, you go to a hotel and be like, fifteen dollars for a pay-per-view movie? Why not, dude? It's like the movie theater in your hotel room. Anyone remember the hotel rooms with the N sixty four in them? Hell yeah, oh, Josh yeah, and I had those... lived that life like two <laughs> yeah, years ago. Did. <laughs> what did we, we play got when we? Snap. <laughs> well, that was we played like eight dollars an hour, or we paid eight dollars an hour to play Pokemon Snap in that hotel room. We did. That we is did. absolutely ridiculous. It was a we good value, dude. Something. It was. It was a fucked up weekend. <laughs> yeah, there was there were a lot of not great decisions made that weekend. It was a real I'd say. fucked up weekend. That was probably one of the best decisions we made. Vancouver's bigger than Belgium, man. Vancouver is it? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably How many not even. Does close. Belgium have like a lot? Oh my god, dude! One Belgian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know. He's got all 150. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I still think like. Once you get out to, like, to the American Midwest, states make sense. But in the Northeast, they're stupid. Yeah, I know Northeast because is they were fighting over borders at the time. They exactly. They about the West when they were building it. They're just like, here's a fucking yeah, square. Take, like, take this much square. Exactly. But that's so much smarter than, like, in the Northeast, it's like, there's like 20 states that you could drive between in one day. It's too much. You, we don't need you a... The freaking voting districts, though, they're still just as fucked in the Midwest. Dude, we don't need a Maine and a Connecticut. There's no reason for Delaware to exist in this state. Just, I'm not saying that they the should- It was the first state, dude! Yeah, so what, dude? Here's what I'm thinking. I don't think any- No state wants to become a part of another state. Because like, no one's like, you know, you live in New Jersey, you're like, I don't want to be part of New York, that means New York wins, right? So what you do is you just merge like you, 15 states. They call them all like shit. But you, know, you just be like, this is like, you know, I don't know who's it's like Peru. A, you know, this, is, this is shit one. This is this, this Frank land, you know, for Benjamin Franklin. The Northeast is now like the the sixteen thousand states that are up there in the Northeast. That's now Frank land. And then in the in the Southeast, the Frank. Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, probably South Carolina, get merged and they become Marinoville. <laughs> you don't, I don't need think they like that name very much. <laughs> California should still exist on its own, but Washington and Oregon should become one state. And then, like, come on, like, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado can all be their own, like, one state. Let's not be ridiculous here. No, Arizona needs to be its own state. That place is awful. Yeah, but if you yeah, if you merge, one country, then we put all of the states. We put all of the awful places into one state. I, oh, if, if, I, if I never see Las Vegas again as long as I live, then I won't be sad. That's the, you put Nevada in there <laughs> put too? Put Nevada man. in there, absolutely! Yeah, why not? The entire U.S. should be one state? Nah, I mean, there's a couple states that get to stay. Texas has a unique identity, it should be its own state. New York they want it to has succeed. its... Well, I mean, but more power to them. Same with California, dude. California's got its own identity. It's a, it's a, it's a strong power by itself. They can be their own state. Any other states? You better pair up with another state. How are North Here's Dakota? State. Why are North Dakota and South Dakota not the same state? It's that such is a, bullshit. It's like that's I can agree with you. You've got the same so name, bad. but you're like, you can live in South North Dakota, and they'll be like, oh, I love. Uh, oh fuck, you're right. You I never thought of that. Where do you live? Oh, I'm in the north part of South Dakota. You could ask any fucking person in America, any person who lives in America, who grew up with American history, and ask them, why is there a North and South Dakota? And they will not be able to give you an answer. Well, I don't, I don't fucking I'll know. tell you one thing about it. Well, South Dakota go. has Mount Rushmore, so North Dakota, I'm putting you on blast, basically. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Mate, as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna merge North Dakota and South Dakota into one state. You know what I'm gonna call it? South Dakota. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they earned it, dude. Like, why is West Virginia the only one of the states? Wait, West Virginia? Like, North Dakota, South Dakota. Virginia, West Virginia. You see the problem here is like, why why is Virginia not called East Virginia? Basically, West Virginia and Virginia are coming one state as well, and it's gonna be called Virginia. 
please tell Egg to rest the white ring inside the red one. Shit has been eating away at my soul. <laughs> Wasn't she you know in Jumper? Means? Yeah, I mean, I had a white ring and a red ring. Now I don't, though. I have a knife instead, so. Oh, I botched it. Nice. I think it's not your fault, you know? South Dakota is the home of the town Wall, which has a famous dog, Wall Dog. <laughs> oh, I like that story a lot. I like Wall Dog a lot. Uh, I mean, right. Wall Dog on the end North of Dakota. Dakota. Yeah, North Dakota's <laughs> screwed, dude. North Dakota, you got a choice. Get with Montana or get with South Dakota. But, like, you know... Montana not... would be so strangely shaped, though. I don't think I could handle that. Yeah, there's like a there's a monkey island as well, and I'm not even just saying that for video game purposes. <laughs> have, I like, like that. Japan's island got islands Japan. for everything. <laughs> there's like a oh my god, I forget what what city it's in, but it's like yeah, it's some it's a monkey park. That's pretty. Cool. I wouldn't want to like go monkey there. park island. I wouldn't no, go there either. I mean, all of Japan. Like, like going to island. see like one monkey is like, oh, this is cool. He's a little funny guy, you know. It's interesting, but like having like lots of them all around you, is probably a lot of poop. Well, yeah. You probably want to rip your skin off. Yeah, that's the that's thing too. is, unsupervised, I really only feel comfortable around maybe like three monkeys. I think if you threw a fourth like monkey, more... well, I feel like if you threw a fourth monkey in there, they could overwhelm me. Monkeys are, in general are just kind of strange. Do you think you could take three monkeys, though? Well, I think I could get out of the situation before it got too bad. It depends on what kind of monkeys we're talking about, too. Oh, uh, they're pretty fast. If it's three you know, chimpanzees? Yeah. Nah, dude, those are some strong monkeys. You're fucked that one, honestly. Yeah, one chimpanzee would rip my arms clean out of my socket. You saw what they did to that Florida lady. They like, pulled her face off. Oh, you see in, uh, in M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening? A what? single monkey no. could fuck you up? No, I could take on, like... Marcel, Ross Geller's monkey from Friends. I could kill yeah. Marcel. There's no, Listen, no question. Marcel saying you could, you could fight. You could like, oh, I could fight one dog. What kind of dog? There's a big difference. Nah, I mean, I I feel relatively confident. I would give myself like a ninety percent chance of killing any dog in a self-defense situation. No. Any dog? Any not dog? True. Yeah. Like a wolf? No, you're That's like not a dog. Hey, is it a canine? Like what? Are we talking <laughs> well, are we talking about the genus or the species? That's what I'm saying. No, I don't think I could. Well, I mean, I I think I'd give myself, you know, even well, odds with a wolf. All right, yeah, man. No, you kill fuck a poodle. Off. Good fucking job. You know, do you want to do a Rottweiler? <laughs> Come on. Ryan has a lot of practice killing dogs. You so don't understand. Right You're <laughs> underestimating the human brain and the human will to live. We're an extremely cunning species, dude. You're telling me that there's never been a human that's been killed by a no, dog. No, that's not what I said at all. That's what I said. All I said is I give myself like 90%. If I know I'm getting into a fight with a dog, I give myself 90% chance. I watched a PSA about how to kill dogs most effectively, actually. Uh, it was a thing done by like a, sentence. an FBI agent who, I guess, has, like, dealt with every situation. And he says that the best course of action you have, because you only have very coarse motor skills in that situation because of your adrenaline, is you have to try and punch it in the nose. Yeah, I've heard and that And if you well. do that, it'll disable it pretty much, like, long enough for you to be able to kill it. That's what they say about sharks, too. Yeah. What, what's the most dangerous situation you found yourself in that you felt compelled to watch an FBI video about how to <laughs> disable a dog in combat. Uh, no, it wasn't that. It just was one of those things that, like, popped up at the end of an article that I was just like, well, I'm kind of curious what you need to do to save your life from a dog. I know this situation can never exist. I want to see you take on a wolf. A dog I, 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 just, I didn't I say a wolf! No, but you I did though. You, I heard that you could take a wolf. You said you, said you give yourself like 50-50 or 50-50. That doesn't mean I'm that means I'm 50% you, confident. You are, no, you're like 1090. There's no way. I can't first off, I just want to say I actually got a run so good that I'm fucked. I can't my knife is so strong with homing, I can't pull it off of Mega Satan. Could you defeat last gray wolf? <laughs> Probably. I don't understand. I've got to kill all these bosses with little Steven or something. He didn't actually fight a dog in the video, no. He was just talking about his experiences and training. He was just talking to the dog. He, there was no dog in the video at all. He was just on a background talking. I heard there was a dog. He was talking about a dog. I'm talking to you. Oh. I mean, if I could just finish... Like, oh my god, it's so bad. It's not that bad. No, it's, right? it's so bad. You're making it a lot worse than what it actually. Occasionally, is. I get like a shot, but otherwise, I can't pull the knife off of Mega Mega Satan. So only I gotta kill every boss with Little Steven. 
That's the best one, though. It's one of the better ones, I suppose, but... I'm just fuck. thinking, like, I think... Like, if a dog's charging at you at full speed... Yeah, and it's not a Pomeranian. It's like a German Shepherd, you know, full size, ready to fuck yeah. your shit up. Like Those are fighting you, dogs. Before you can get to the punching it in the nose, it's not going to come at you nose first. It's going to have its, it's mouth It's going to come at you sideways? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what they do. I, just mean, like, it's going to it's gonna try to get your arm or your leg or something. It's going to fucking... Oh, that a lot that's of another part there. he said. If you do, like, what you're supposed to do, if you have to let him, you give him the back of your arm, because obviously they're going to pull and tear at anything. And if they get the inside of your arm, that's when you, like, bleed out. So give them the biggest bone you've got, if that be your oh. arm or leg, in a position that you should be able to hit them in the face or eyes. Can you phrase that any worse? <laughs> Chat, why do <laughs> yeah, I occasionally <laughs> have, like, a big <laughs> shot here? I, I hate to be out of this dog conversation. I can't stress this enough, though. I got, like, the best run of all time, but it's so good that I can't win. My knife is just stuck to a boss that's invulnerable. Why is your boss invulnerable? Well, because he's, he spawns minions. You gotta kill the minions before he becomes vulnerable again. Are you sure? Look, just give him the biggest punch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even, even hear that when I said it either, which made it even better. <sighs> Circle of protection occasionally gives you that shot. Well, it's the only one I got. <sighs> By the way, I'm not like condoning hitting dogs or like. I mean, it, it, I think it's pretty like clear that it's self-defense. Wait, have that's to what say you were saying? I thought you were going somehow to... construe that I'm like into fighting dogs or something. I'm not at all. Oh. I think I gotta wait till like this dude gives me his hands. I know I want to get to the next section, chat. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. I got a 15 streak to try to keep alive here. <laughs> I've just got to kill these two angel statues with little Steven only, and no bombs. Oh and then... god, you're at the angel statues? Well, I'm at the- it's the Mega <laughs> Satan fight. Oh, I know, but you got a while left then. No, So why is know. the knife not doing any damage? It has- the knife won't do damage to, um, to Mega Satan because he's invulnerable during the angels- uh, during Leah's oh, minion spot. okay, so when you're actually going to fight him, you're still going to be able to kill It'll him. It'll kill him in like a half a second. The damage is so good. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm ready to stop at any point. I've won my second run. We got an issue here is the thing. No, I'm just telling you that when you're done, I'm done. That's all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all about you today, Ryan. Do you know what? So you're saying you could fight a boxer or a Doberman Pinscher or like any of those? Yo, the human mind is an amazing thing, dude. Were well, you gonna fucking think it to death? Like, yeah, to pull out my car keys and stab it in the throat when it lunges at me. That's not gonna kill a dog. I think it could kill a dog. In the moment, you're not gonna be able to get to its throat. It's gonna be gnawing in on you. In the heat of the moment. All right, I killed Mega Satan. Oh, congrats! What this took you so long? This is basically the worst run of all time. What would you give your odds against a gorilla? I don't know, like maybe. 8%. 1%. Yeah, it's like, it's gonna be pretty low. Yeah. It would be an accident that, like, I, I accidentally knocked a rock into his throat or some stupid thing yeah. as it was mauling me. Like, do you start off, like, is the gorilla in, like, a Cincinnati zoo cage and you have a gun with a rifle? Yeah. Or? Honestly, I think if child? you gave me a rifle and one shot at the gorilla before we <laughs> fought, I still only give myself maybe, like, a 25% chance. Yeah. There's yeah, probably like I an eighty percent chance I miss. Kill a gorilla with one bullet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean it might even be if you're not gonna kill him with one shot, you probably want to miss because you're just gonna make him mad if you win him. <laughs> <laughs> eight percent means works. you win one in twelve fights. No fucking way. You guys are so you you're tackling this exclusively from like a who's got more muscle situation. That's a huge aspect. I don't disagree, but it's not like you know. In the UFC, you're like, like, oh, Tank Abbott is the guy you gotta watch out for. But, like, the dog's not gonna give- he's not gonna let you sit there and write a fucking paper on how you're gonna- What fight. do you think I'm gonna- I'm just saying a dog, you know, he's got teeth, he's got claws, he's got a lot of, like, crushing power. I don't doubt that for a second. I, I don't think we got, your brain's gonna be working properly when those things are inside of you. you got ingenuity, man. 
When the dog gets inside of you, you're not going to be thinking properly. <laughs> What's your odds against a grizzly bear? Hmm, that's tough. I mean, With less, no weapon? less than it's like... A coin flip? No, it's like less than 20% for sure. Oh, fuck. It's no, less you don't, than 5%. You don't fight a grizzly. You either play dead you or... No, but you will. have to fight the grizzly. You're not... What are you going to do? You have you nothing to gain. If the grizzly in combat, it's too late for you. No, what do you, you know, climb a tree and then throw sticks at it until it dies? <laughs> they can climb trees. Yeah, you just move to another tree. <laughs> until it dies. You just move, you just move to another tree. Well, I'm not, I'm not giving myself 50%. I'm giving myself, like, you know, 15. I anything above, like, one, you're out of your mind. No, you guys you overestimate animals. There if you're giving yourself anything other than one. You know what I would do? I would leave the forest. Trash, go online, please. Oh, you are. Never mind. I would leave the forest and then just live my entire life until the grizzly bear died before me. I win. I would I would outthink it, get out of the forest, get a job in the city, working for the man every night and day, and then uh, grizzly will I'll just get a missive working one day. For and the man every night and you know, you know like, the bear can follow you out of the forest. Not into the city. Animal control will get him. <clears throat> you but you have to outrun it. No. I agree, chat. Josh could fuck up a gorilla one hundred percent. That's not fighting it. Like if I beat, if it's dead and I win, you know. I don't know. Chad's like apparently to you guys, fifteen percent is like a hundred percent. I give myself, I give myself a one in seven chance of killing this grizzly, and they're like, "Are you crazy? You're gonna give yourself a one in seven chance?" Yeah. And so did you're you see the revenant? They Leonardo DiCaprio mm -hmm. went toe to toe with that grizzly. He lost to the grizzly. They both lost, dude. They both lost. I don't think any of us could kill a grizzly bear. One in I seven doesn't mean you could kill it. It just One means you've got a chance. So high. I don't think you have a chance, though. You don't ever hear a story of some guy who just won against a grizzly? Does that ever... No. Yeah, approximately 16% of the time. Evolution. And if anything, they do the thing where they hide from the grizzly. No one's ever fought one. Well, th this is so not fair because Chad's going, oh, you, well, you can't use your brain to kill the grizzly. Oh, well, then, okay, the grizzly bear can't use his fucking claws then. I guess we can't use the advantages at our disposal to, you know, destroy is there the a enemy. Run button the goal post is what you're doing. No, I think no, it's no, just, no. if you want to go which animal's stronger, is a grizzly bear. There's no <sighs> question the grizzly bear is way stronger than us. We, we got novelty, man. Oh, here we not go. in their territory, you don't. Yeah, absolutely we do. You realize, we, I'm not saying that we became the top species on planet Earth by killing grizzly bears left, right, and center. But we did, we outcompeted them, man. If you had proper training, yes, I'm sure you could fight a grizzly bear, but you don't have the training. We're talking about you now. Nah, dude. Here's what you do. Hide from the grizzly. Wait till he falls asleep. Sharp stone. Cut his throat. You win. It's, you're not gonna be able to hide from it though. It can smell you. It doesn't matter. I'll put on deodorant. Oh. Again, move, move the goalpost. I don't think it's moving the goalpost, dude. <laughs> I didn't Chuck. consider the deodorant. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, I don't think I could win. If it's like a punch for punch, there's no chance. But that's what we're talking about. I don't think so. I think we're talking about you know it's. You guys are talking about a, a, a Knockout Kings 2004 situation. I'm talking about the Hunger Games. You know, you and a grizzly both get dropped into a forest. Well, then you just fucking leave. I played yeah, this regular <laughs> NES game one time, and in that, you, like, fucking wrestled a grizzly bear. It's weird. Like, that, you're oh, that's, um, I mean, I wish... Gator... Gator Billy? What is that game? What? Oh, Bayou, Bayou Billy. Billy, yeah, the adventure. I don't of... think so. I don't think... I mean, maybe. Did you wrestle a grizzly in that? You could. I could see that being a thing. I, Definitely I, a gator. I, I, I have no recollection of, like, what the game, like, actually was, but I, I vividly remember... Like you were, you're, you're kind of like in this like outdoor arena, maybe, and it was like dark. Like you're fighting this grizzly at night. Wow. See, but that's <laughs> very much against Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Yeah, I don't know. A I, man I wish killed I could a remember. grizzly unarmed before. Well, it was biting his arm. He latched onto its jugular with its teeth. The blood flow to the brain slowed enough to knock it out. Damn. See, I'm not saying that's the way that's to do it. I'm just shit. saying, you know. <laughs> That's the human mind, man. Could a bear wow, fight bullshit. an alligator, or does that not seem to be a thing? I would give myself, by if, if I'm fighting an alligator, if I'm in the water, I give myself like a negative a million percent <gasps> chance. You took no, two throws No, the bear fights me. the alligator. I did. Here, come on. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel like an alligator is like, if you got a sharp object, those things are kind of like, you can just like jump on it and stab it. No it way, it. dude. If you're in the water, you're done. No, I'm on land. Okay, on land. Wait, That's guess, the one I'll give you. You I'll gotta try you to like, thing, like get on its back. Sometimes right? they just sit there for some reason. And they let people like lay on them and put yeah. bags on their heads. Like, <laughs> what's the highest all... score a bear's ever gotten on an SAT test? I don't know. Probably like fucking zero, right? Zero, probably. Yeah, not, not that smart. Right? Here's the thing. A bitch. I just realized, like, if any of you guys <laughs> fight a bear, I give you zero percent because confidence is gonna be like that's all you got coming into that fight. Bears got every other advantage you could possibly conceive of. I can. So let's just let's do it different. If you have a hundred fights with yeah. a bear, how many times are you gonna win? Like what, define fight. Yeah, yeah. You, the bear in a in the woods, drop down next to each other. The bear's mad at you. It's not gonna let you go. You drop down next to each other. Within like twenty feet. You got. He's gonna run at you for about twenty feet before you gotta fight. Mm, that's gonna How be are tough. You dropping down. See, I think the more distance, like if if you put me in an arena with the bear. But it's like a five mile arena. I give myself better odds. If we're in the smaller the arena is and the closer the bear is to me, whoa, we got a problem. But that's like what a fight is. Not always. In the Hunger Games, they were fighting. They also were shooting fireballs. They at were people fighting to survive. Yeah, exactly. I still think I still think I could get three three or more kills on a bear in twenty feet. Wait, with what? With with my mind. Hello? You're gonna mind kill a bear? Do you use psi powers? Did anyone else's dog game just crash? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, no. okay, no, it's back. That's fine. Guess who's back? Everyone's a, do you understand? You think the bear's gonna beat you a hundred percent of the time? Yes! You're not gonna win ever against a bear. Maybe once like by one some stroke of luck. Oh, so so three is ridiculous, but one is sensible. Yes, I That's mean, what we, like, This is like saying, you know, well, Horizon Zero Dawn's not an 8.7, it's an 8.73. You, you weren't saying 3, you were saying like 7, yeah, or 1 out of 7. Yeah, but then when you 13. when you revised it to 100 and I conceptualized it in that way, I was like 3. Dude, I think there's a chance that if you were in like a fist fight, or, well, I mean, they don't have fists, but if it was like you versus the average house cat to the death, and you both could conceptualize that it was to the death, the house cat would probably win like 3 times over a human being. No. You think the house cat would win zero times? What? <laughs> How would a house cat kill you? It uses freaking claws to slice you on the throat and like bite you and never let go? Not my cat. My cat doesn't have teeth. Right. Your cat would be at a disadvantage, I would say. Never mind. It blew away. What? You guys don't understand variants. These people were like, so you, can, you think you can fight a bear, but you can't fight Tomo? No, I'm saying I got the same odds <laughs> against a bear that Tomo has against me. All right, I'm dead. You died. <laughs> a certain level of sentience in this situation, I think, has to account for something. Like it does against the bear! Yeah, no, I think I'm agreeing. No, but it's not uh, enough. It's not enough to put you over 50%. Yeah, I stepped on it. But it's enough, to, you... it's enough to give you a chance. Hi, I'm NL. I win against the bear, but lose against 3 the bear. 3% of the time! <laughs> 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 That's a good summation of this conversation. You guys are you guys are actually simultaneously underestimating yourselves and overestimating all animals, except for your your idea is like if an animal's smaller than you, then you have a hundred percent odds. If it's larger than you, you got zero. Well, it's, like it's if it's larger, larger than, like I can probably it's beat a, up a fucking deer, bear, deer, man. I will no. Ryan, I'm going no, to honor. resign uh, a one. I think I'll give you one out of a hundred. Okay. All right. We're we're on the same page there then. But I'm not giving you three. Like no. That is some one in a hundred bullshit luck. Well, I guess we'll have to prove it then. Mythbusters. The only reason I'm giving you one though is because someone apparently did it once already. That means it's possible. <laughs> you, you do have to bite, his, bite yeah, the jugular out of its neck. neck. Well, it's got you pinned against the ground while you're pissing <laughs> and shitting yourself. That's a good question. What animal do you think you have a 50% chance in? It does depend on the situation. Yeah, Kangaroo is 50-50? I don't necessarily believe that. <laughs> Nick, that was impressive. Kangaroo is going to get you at least like 37. It's going to be ugly too when it gets you because they tear out all your insides. I don't understand. You guys have no respect for how, the well, how human are you mind. 99.99% the the of about a human kangaroo people would that... kill the cat. NL, however, 100% <laughs> would lose. <laughs> The kangaroo's like, it's got, it's gonna wait for you to strike. It's not coming at you. You gotta get to it, and it's gonna fucking kick the shit out of you if you get even close. Your ancestors will be like so disappointed in you. 
The kangaroo took a dog hostage. I've seen it. Yeah, and then the dude punched it in the face and it ran away like a little bitch. That guy was a powerful guy. How many, <laughs> ah, how ah. many cats before the odds tip in the favor of the cats? I think if you had like 15 cats, life's gonna be a problem for you. <laughs> it's that many, really? I think like... <laughs> I don't think one, contrary to what you might think, I don't think one cat is a problem the vast majority of the time. And then, like, you can get, like, if you do, like, a roundhouse kick or something, you're not losing that much momentum when you hit one cat. So, like, three cats, four cats per kick, I don't think that's an issue. And they're not going to organize, so. It could just be one of those situations where, unless you're in that exact situation, what? like, you really don't <laughs> There's know a way how to get strong out. you I've are. I've seen it. Okay, okay, I'm going to shoot it up there. Just kidding. Oh, God! <gasps> <laughs> we don't run the world because of our fucking strength. Yeah, but it's not just strength in a fight. You, you guys we are run the world because of girls. That's a good point as well. But also, like we, you use your cunning in a fight as well. You run I, because your yeah. legs. I thought our strength was that we figured out how to use complex <laughs> tools to solve problems more than our strength. No, we got a dirty ass brain, and it just gets better the more cooked protein we eat. <laughs> Basically like a super villain, <laughs> evolutionarily speaking. Ryan, how many times out of 100 do you think you could beat Rob in a fight? I give myself like 60-40. Wow! There's actually no way. I don't know. I think I've got Rob a lot grew of... grew up fighting. Like, he wants to fight. I think i got Rob's a lot of darkness inside of me. At least 90-10. 90-10?! You are so high! I'll give him 80-20. I, I wouldn't be offended if you said 50-50. I'm not going to be offended <laughs> if you give him 60-40, but you're going to give Rob 90-10? Yeah. Rob is going to Rob's going to give Rob 100-0, I can tell you that much. That is ridiculous. Huh. I think if Rob wasn't feeling it that day, there's like that's where the 20% ch chance comes from. All Rob would destroy is... NL 95%. There is time. you guys are <laughs> so up your own ass. Rob, you did it, man. You won. Yeah. I told you, yeah, I had some darkness fine. inside of me. You, go. you did. <laughs> I go to the doctor. Yeah, you do go to the doctor. You're going to fight bears. You're going to fight robs. It's gonna... You asked me. <laughs> I gave myself a modest chance of modest. beating Rob. 60-40 is modest. Oh, I thought you meant 60-40 in your favor. Yeah. You're still wrong. No, but... that's still modest. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Look, we're going to PAX in a couple weeks. Let's, uh, let's settle it Fight there. each other there. You have no idea. You got no idea, man. Exactly. I got a killer up inside of me. I can't talk to my mama, so I talk to my diary. I'm being called this is immodest. What happens when Kate's not in your life, you just go for your testosterone crazy or something. Does anyone look at T. Ryan's? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't quack though. I it, tried. No, it like I go. I press left. It goes left. Yeah. I press right. Try to try to right. quack. Try to quack. No. Oh. You're like a little Jeff Dunham right there. Gross. If you can't beat Mouth, you can't beat Rob. That is such a false dilemma. I was cleaning this floor, and then <laughs> Mouth jumped on my back and put me in a chokehold. That's part of what fighting is. He That's got not you. the... <laughs> he, you didn't expect it. He's like he's a sleeper agent that got activated. All right. How do you want to do this one? Oh, are, they, are they both dead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely like throw the rock at each other. Yeah, exactly. All right. I don't. I can't move. That'd be dishonorable. Yeah. But. I think. I think you gotta do something like. Wait, one sec. One sec. Yeah. You gotta do. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty ass brain. <laughs> That's what you're saying. You'd do to a bear. Yeah. I mean, basically, but we weren't fighting. Only he knew we were fighting. What celebrity would you give yourself a 50% chance with? I would say Jeff Goldblum. What are your odds in a fight against Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan's got me like 85-15. Joe Rogan's got you all. Oh, you do not zero. understand variance. If I catch him with a throat here. punch, he's gonna go down, dude. No, no. He, he he's a he's trained. He's I know, but it's, it's still like this. I'm giving him like overwhelmingly positive odds. That's not overwhelmingly 85 positive. Eighty-five to fifteen what? on is Steam. So that's good. only like positive. <laughs> that's very positive. <laughs> I am saying Joe Rogan would destroy me. I'm just saying there's a 15% chance I get extremely lucky and, you know, roast his there's ass with a throat punch. There's a 15% punch. chance? 15 percent <laughs> chance I get extremely lucky. Oh. What about Seth Rogan? 
I think me and Seth Rogen would be like 50-50. I would never fight him. We're both Vancouverites. We've got peace in our blood. <laughs> Honestly, if you put like a 14-year-old kid <laughs> in a fight against Joe Rogan, the 14-year-old kid has like a 5% chance. That's I, I, 19 I to 1 odds! If you saw like a football match with 19 to 1 odds, you put like $100 on them to win, you get zero money back. It's not about the money. It's just about, like, like what, what is, how is a 14-year-old kid going to win? Ever. Punch him in the throat. But how is he going to get the, he's going to be You're so lucky. Take his car keys out and stab him in the dick. <laughs> stab him it's right through the dick. It's all about the car keys for you. I mean, it's the most, if I, if someone walked into my oh. office right now, I'm thinking I got a pretty nasty coffee mug, just bash him over the top of the head. Measaloo. Is this what happened to you after you played Hitman? You just started seeing Apparently you gotta be prepared because every celebrity puzzle. wants to fight, I didn't realize. <laughs> How do you know a 14 year old doesn't have car keys? You could have an extra set from his parents or something. This is why the you guys are gonna keys? get beat by the 14 year old, is because you underestimate them. I'm telling you, I, you, you don't want to get in a fight with me because now I got something to prove. 14 year olds have glass bottles that they broke open. I'm a very peaceful man, but you guys are opening up a demon inside of me. Oh, because you have to be 16 to drive? Is that the re I know that's your point! I'm just saying there's no, like, the police go, Hey, you're only 14, what are you doing with these car keys? It's not illegal to have car keys. Go to a martial arts gym and try to fight someone, you'll get killed 100% of the time. <laughs> well, if I get killed the first time, we don't get a large enough sample size to know if I'm right or wrong. It's true. That's why we gotta do it in, in VR. Like your that. odds of beating Joe Rogan are way better than your odds of taking down a one-story house. In 24 hours. Are you kidding me? Well, is it ah. all of us? Oh, sorry, is it sorry. Is four of us to do that? Because that I'm not, yeah. not going to help you because you guys have no faith in me or the human race. Get all, right. all this shit out of here. Okay. Okay. We're going to take turns Watch coming out. down. You can't leave the arena, okay? Okay. You can, all right. You can't you leave the arena. the arena. Yeah, I know, but you, we're going to take turns going up to the top of the diving board. Are you serious? This seems very easy. You can move. You can move. You can move. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you just you can't leave the arena, but you can move. Okay, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> How come you guys seem to be alive every time? Oh! oh. That was really good! <laughs> Thank you. Do <laughs> you think you could take on an entire Korean language class? Um, I mean, if they were like five, I'd give myself okay <laughs> odds against like ten five-year-olds. I'm not saying 100%. Like, Do Joe you think Rogan. you could take Ronda Rousey in a fight? There is... That's actually... I would much rather fight Joe Rogan you than fought. Ronda Rousey. Was... Joe Rogan would destroy Ronda Rousey? I don't know, man. Joe Rogan does our job now. I know it, there is a he's way trained. Ronda Rousey is like <laughs> God. A, an actual like professional fighter right now. Didn't she lose a bunch though? Yeah, to other professional fighters. <laughs> no excuse. Did Joe Rogan even ever fight in UFC, or is he just a, the only, like, strong dude who does UFC commentary? Now he just does a podcast, smokes weed all the time. I'm not saying oh, he wouldn't kick one. the shit out of me, I'm just saying, you know, Ronda Rousey is a professional athlete in the present day and age. What about variants, though? Joe Rogan has never stopped training? What's he training for? <laughs> to you. I guess so, it's... <laughs> <laughs> How much do you yeah, think we need to up. pool together to make this happen? I want to see Ronda Rousey fight Dan Joe Giesling. Rogan. Dan Giesling. Dan Giesling. Dan Giesling. You bet on Dan in that? Yeah. You are stupid. I died instantly. I think you guys are joking, but... Dan's not going to beat Ronda Rousey. There is no way! Yeah, but he could try. He would probably beat any of us. Except me. I think Dan would beat you up. <laughs> yeah. I think Dan is the only one Dan in our circle of beat. friends that does like any physical activity at all. Dan Bear's could nature is very gentle, though. Tear her yeah, down emotionally. He... Size and weight is a huge advantage? Oh, all right, okay. We put Louis Anderson against Ronda Rousey. What, how so self-inflated do you have to be to be like, yeah, I mean, Ronda Rousey is a professional fighter. She's lost twice against other professional fighters, but I would probably beat her. <laughs> like, that is madness man. to me. Louis Anderson can't take a punch, but he could give one out. I don't know if that has any historical precedent. <laughs> Where did that come from? Bruce Lee would destroy the rock. That's probably true. Yeah? All I know about fighting is that I would lose to 95% of the population. Nah. Yeah. Probably, well, like, of the adult population, probably like 60%. <laughs> no, you're giving me way too much I don't think here. so, dude. There's, there's some people that, like, 
so won't fight that they'll just be like just waiting for you to kill them. Yeah, that's who I want in round one. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should just do a tournament DBZ style. Where we actually everyone on Earth. Real talk though, in like a Hunger Games situation, <laughs> I would not lost. want to be up against Dan. Yeah. Dan's the guy you finally got sleeping in a tree, and then all of a sudden you just hear a rustling, and then like nothing personnel, nah. kid. Hunger Games, oh, everything God. changes. Everything changes Hunger Games style. I give myself a much better chance. Yeah, than I would agree with that. Mouth sneaky too. Mm -hmm. I but, wouldn't want to have to come to that conclusion that one of my <laughs> friends has to kill me. I think I, I would. See, like Nick, no it. offense, dude, you're first out in the Hunger Games. I know. <laughs> well, Even if you that. make it to the final two, you're gonna be like, just kill me so that you can win. Yeah, but then you have to live with you killing me, and it's gonna be on your conscience. Yeah, it's gonna be bad for my KDR though. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't think I have a good chance in the Hunger Games. I think you gotta I say, uh, I, I would go like Austin, Dan, Mouth. Those are the people I'd be watching out for. And Mathis, not me. No not way. Josh. Okay, Mathis. No, Josh. I think you try to play it too honorably. No. No way. I don't no, know. Josh is least honorable in that situation. <laughs> Josh has military training. That is true. Man, this is the guy who would just like bury himself in a pile of dirt and then <laughs> eat, eat worms for like six months until everybody else died. Do you I don't really want to have though. to eat worms for six Spark months bot. rather than be killed Spark by one of your Spark friends? Bot. See, that, Nick, that's why you're like first out in the Hunger See, Games. I like yeah. this. Josh would be the guy that befriends everyone and stabs in the fucking back. Yeah. <laughs> The thing about Dan is that... <laughs> <laughs> Dan, no, Dan's got too big a target on his head. Oh. People are like, they know he's got that big brother experience. No one's gonna fucking fall for his stuff. Mm, you'd think so, You'd have yeah. to squat up against him. Who, who do you think would be the first duo? Like, the culling style, like... Right. Who, who, oh. Ryan and Kate? Well, that's the other thing, like, Mathis' perspective would be like, well, at least I didn't come last. How come they never talk about, like, in that situation, no one would be oh. able to sleep because they would all be afraid of being killed in their sleep? Well, you have to sleep smart. Yeah. I don't give myself great odds of winning the Hunger Games. Maybe, like, 15%. Yeah. I can't believe you're giving I yourself... I feel like everyone would kind of have, like, like, beating a bear as you are winning the Hunger Games. Against you guys, yeah. Against a random smattering of the average population? Nah. In the Hunger Games, you should just paint yourself like a stupid fucking rock. He's got a good point. I didn't consider that. To be honest, in the Hunger Games, just fuck someone on air for the sponsors. That's a good idea. Mm, that is yeah. a great idea. That's like, a win-win-win. It's like whoever whoever finds Fox first wins. <laughs> <laughs> you think Fox would fuck anyone on the crew? Oh. If he had to, yeah. Couldn't they, like, go in a cave and then set traps around the door so there's no way they could have gotten in? Yeah, but they're the gas, dude. And the, like, weird cyber uh, panthers. Right. I'm starting to think you haven't seen the Hunger Games films. I have. I just forgot a lot of the details. <laughs> You're talking about how nobody sleeps and, uh... No, I meant they never get into them being fatigued from not sleeping because they'd have insomnia. Oh, fuck. All They're right. Well, I mean, like, I don't know. As long... <laughs> I'm cool with all of you, except for the opinion that the third and fourth movies are the best. Oh, fuck. I'm not this even saying horrifying. that the movies were the Do best. It. I just like the way the story went. Do it. End. I know what you're thinking. Pull the trigger. Did I Jesus fire Christ, seven shots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta oh, ask what? yourself one question. <laughs> do you feel lucky? Well, do you, do you pump? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> it always reminds me of this tweet that I saw. It's like, um, you know, think of a number, and then it's like millennial, 26, and then 30-year-old smiling smugly. 69. Yeah, like 10 million or something like that. It's like, it's not, it doesn't give you street cred to know that Battle Royale exists. It's like, probably like one of the top 10 most popular Japanese movies of all time. How much do you think 10 kilograms of nutmeg is worth? Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. 10 I kilograms. I have the exact number. I bet you can. Wait, how much is it? What's a kilogram? A kilogram is 2.5 pounds or 2.25 pounds or something. 2.5 pounds? Yeah. 1439. No, oh, that's, that's way like, more expensive. That's, that's a than cool that. 1500 bucks. No, oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's like, so price, we're gonna do the prices right style. Best okay, without highest over. without or closest without going yeah. over. Yeah, all right. Let me think here. When you get a container of nutmeg, it's probably like four dollars. And then how much nutmeg are you getting? Probably like a hundred grams, maybe, or 50. Let's say 50 grams. So you're doing 20 times four dollars, that's 80 bucks. Takes you to a thousand. 
20 pounds? I'm gonna say that it's eighty dollars. Fourteen thirty nine. Four fourteen dollars or fourteen hundred dollars? Fourteen dollars. Okay. No one was close. It was four hundred and eighty dollars. No, that was close. Right. Ten kilograms. You said ten kill you said one kilogram! No, it's a ten! Well then multiply my answer by ten. I'll give you that. What was your answer? It, it was, was still over now. It was uh right, no, yeah. it was gonna be like eight hundred dollars. One time in university, they did like one of those. Hey, guess how many jelly beans are inside of this jelly bean jar? In the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Everything okay out here? Ruka? You alright, buddy? That's bad kitties. <laughs> That's violent. Did Ruka that crash the catering plates? Well, anyway, we did this jelly bean thing in the cafeteria, and I did the same thing. I counted like the number of jelly beans on one side, and then was like, you know, multiply it by like the depth of the jar. I was off by like ten jelly beans, but I won the jar. Damn. What, well, what is your negative about gummy bears? What don't you like? They don't about? have enough flavor for the amount of chewing involved. What? So I guess a jawbreaker is out of the fucking question for you. I hate jawbreakers. It's the only candy that makes me feel like I might die during the consumption of it. Yep. <laughs> I don't get jawbreakers either. They're just like a choking risk. It just That's seems all dangerous. You get out of them. The jawbreaker is an outlier. Malcolm Gladwell style again. I don't know if anybody likes jawbreakers. Unless, probably Sinvicta loves jawbreakers because it's 25 cents for like nine hours of candy. <laughs> <laughs> the mini ones are good, but they're too expensive. Yeah. Ranks their not, candies in time. Not really jawbreakers. What about gummy worms? Even worse. They're the same. What do you mean even worse? They're the same thing in different shapes. No, they're not. The gummy worms have like a grainier texture. Gummy bears have a smooth texture. Gummy what about worms? the sour worm like ones with like the. <laughs> Like the sugary like coating, those are good. I don't like the. It's, it's got the grainy texture. It's like you're, they're coated in sour sand. What about peach rings? Peach rings? I don't. I, this is, they're all the same texture. I don't like it that much. Fuzzy peaches? I'm okay with. I'm not a snob. I just I like shitty candy as well. I just don't like peach rings. Oh, there was some politician they were saying the other day that he swallows like six or eight pieces of gum every day, and I was That's... just retching thinking about that. Don't. Don't swallow, just, you got trash can. What's the point of swallowing gum? <laughs> you're actually you no eating, one? you're eating edible garbage as far as I'm concerned. It's <laughs> like, right. you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, this crayon is non-toxic. That doesn't mean you should yeah. eat it. What the know. heck is going on It's going to be in, in the small intestine for seven years. Bullshit. It might not, Kate, like, are you okay? Compose for <gasps> five years, but it's not it gonna stay in my body. Just another day of chaos. Stop that's, praying that's for it. our cat. You're making him too strong. Wait, wait. Where do you guys put your gum at? In the garbage. The trash. Can. Do you ever like just spit on the ground? You put no. It on the napkin and you throw it out. Ryan mopped up Sometimes soda on the side. <laughs> I didn't it mop it. I, I used the paper gum, towel. Or like finding it underneath desks and stuff. I don't like that. Okay. You don't don't put it under a desk. It's not like there's only two options with garbage. You eat a bag of potato chips. You don't eat the bag or throw it exactly where you finished it. You hold on to it until oh. you hold on to it until you come across a trash can. I don't know about they that. You eat the bag. So you just like hold like like hold it in your hand. You like you put it in your pocket or the gum. Yeah. You just leave it in your mouth. But then it goes, it goes bad, you just swallow it. It's not that it goes bad, it just, it has no Let taste. Let biology take care of the problem for you. <laughs> Too moo. You just hold it until you, you hold it in your mouth until you get to a trash can. What's the furthest away you are from a trash can on a regular basis? Like 10 steps? No, how far away from you am I? <laughs> oh, wow. 3,000 wow. miles. <laughs> 13 hour drive. <laughs> I had that situation. I just I'd wedge it next to my gums and I just leave it there for like an hour until I found a trash can. An hour? Like I think I was in a class or something, so oh, I couldn't really throw it out. You're not supposed to be eating gum in class. No gum, no hats. I know. I don't usually do it. After leaving it in my mouth for so long, though, it did make me feel kind of like I want to throw up a little bit. What is wrong with everybody? I, do people in chat are saying they put it behind their ear. I've heard what? of that. What? What? No. no, don't. No, no. No. I've heard of that. In what Don't, world is why? it better to put this chewed piece of gum behind your ear instead of just leaving it in it's your mouth? Just a storage place. So is your mouth. Uh, you gotta, like, you just, so stuff. is your like intestines. Just swallow it. I'd you rather you swallow it than storage? fucking put it there. Yeah, putting it behind your ear is definitely worse than just swallowing it. Was there no like trash cans in your world? Fucking mouth is a trash can. 
Mouth is a <laughs> trash can. Josh is the only one who's not a prude. I'm not saying, like, you're giving him a lot of credit mean? for swallowing gum. What does a prude have to do with it? It's actually safe to eat it. No, I get that, but like... What if you put it in your urethra and then pee? Will you make a water balloon? Please, somebody just it, win. You would have to like... <laughs> I would imagine you'd have to like expand it a little bit, you know? Oh, thank God. Your urethra or the gum? The gum. <laughs> would you make a water balloon? <laughs> That's a good question. I never thought about that. <laughs> I think if you stretched it thin enough over the yeah. hole itself, you might be able yeah. to make a little like, bubble. Absolutely. You can't just like, put it like over like just right on the hole, Yeah, right? the, unless you, you have like the strongest it. stream of urine ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bear, how many fights with a bear would you win out of 100? Oh, zero. Thank you. Kidding you. Me? Thank you. They're like, they're 100% muscle. They also have that weird lip that goes <laughs> I don't know if I could beat a bear cub, to be honest. Hi, Josh. Hi, Invicta. Hi. Hello. Hey, Sin. Hello. Hi, Bear. Hey, Nick. Hello. Hey, Josh. Hi, Austin. Hi, Austin. Hey, Sin Victor. Hey, Rob. Hi, Rob. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, Rob. Hey. Hi, to, to Hi to Nick. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, guys. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good yeet. That was a forceful yeet. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bear. That was painful. Hey, bear. All right, hey, I want to quickly go hey, over. Mouth. No, you would not beat me 60 40. There's just no way. There's no <laughs> chance in hell. Like, hey, Mouth's not in the room. I think I could. Hey, Mouth's not here. There hey, is Ryan. no chance in hell. Have you ever even been punched in the face? By I don't bear? think I'm ever going to be punched in the face, even if we fight each other. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I bet you'll be so shocked by what getting punched in the face is like. I could get you in a headlock in like four seconds. I broke my own nose once. How'd you break your how'd own you, nose? Yeah, how'd you do that? I was uh, going back into my university dorm. Opened the big security door really fast into my own nose. You know how I broke my nose? How? Hockey. I got punched in the face. It doesn't sound like you're very good at fighting. <laughs> how many times have you been punched in the face? Uh... Oh, well. It's Lots. enough to, like, be able to keep track, though, right? No. I mean, I, I mean, I haven't been in, like, a million fights, but I've been in, like, 20 or 30. Damn. Dude, I've Wait, been in like, actually like zero fights. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, yeah, I got suspended in middle school one time for fighting. Because uh, I we were eating lunch. Did you kick his and, ass? Like this kid was like he was kind of being a dick. Um, yeah. Oh no! What, here's what happened. Like he, it was like it's like rigatoni day at at school. So like pasta with red sauce, and and like you get the breadstick with it. And fucking loser kid, he gets all his food and then he walks away. And then some girl comes over. She's like, "Hey, is anyone eating this this dude's breadstick?" And we we're all just like, "No." So he comes back, and I'm just kind of laughing because he's mad about his breadstick. And then I went to go, like, throw my tray away, and then, like, he was, like, following me. And, like, one of my friends was like, hey, he, the guy's coming behind you. I was like, I know. So, like, I went to go throw it away. And when I got to, like, the trash can, I just, like, threw it down, and, like, he, like, we got into, like, the scuffle. And then no one really won. It's more like, like, punching, but, like, fighting, and then, like, we got broken up, like, real quick. But it was a fun time. That counts. Story. And that then, like, we, we laughed going. about it, like, when we were in the principal's office, like, afterwards. We were just like, man, that was dumb of us. And that was it. <laughs> fighting is not fun. Yeah. Taking this from an ex-bouncer is not fun. Yeah. Fighting, fighting, fighting's fun if you're, you know, if it's righteous and you feel good about punching a man in the face. Righteous. <laughs> There's, like, <laughs> almost really no situation, black. I think, where where fighting makes any sense to me. That's how you get to 20, like, oh, yeah, hey, no, right. 20 I will give you, I will give you a premise to one of my fights. Dude threw Wait, beer on purpose on my shirt. Yeah. Did you deserve it? Dude. Oh, I no, forgot. Not I, at I, all. He was trashed. He was I, super that, trashed. In my story, <laughs> that kid, he got mad at me, and then I threw rigatoni on his white shirt. And so that, that prompted me. Wow, I see. <laughs> There's two sides, that. no matter how thin the piece of paper is. Just, it's always got two sides. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I threw, I threw this spaghetti on him. <laughs> They're tortellini or I knew there was a deeper point. detail in I think like if somebody that. threw beer on my shirt, I would go talk to like the bouncer. I'd be like, this dude threw beer on my shirt. And then he would get kicked out and I would also leave. This is exactly why you would never have a 60-40 against me. Well, I mean, you, it seems like you just want to fight a lot. 
That doesn't mean I you're do. necessarily <laughs> good at if it. If a man throws beer on your shirt on purpose to be a dick, you punch him in the face. That's just the, yeah. That's but just the here's the deal: like, life. what if, what if you got what if he did that? And then you got in a fight with him, and then he kicked your ass. Then he would have thrown beer on your shirt and kicked your ass. <laughs> That's fine. You know, Only you gotta you throw gotta, a punch at a dude if you're prepared to win a fight afterward. Well, I mean, yes, generally you should pick fights that uh, you can win, but at the same time. Generally, you know? I think the word you're looking for is always. A hundred percent. But Rob, so how many of fight? How many of these beers did you drink before said altercation happened? <laughs> I mean, I drink. I feel like that may have influenced. How many someone. fights I have you had sober? Um, <laughs> less than half. I knew it. Nah. Less than half. Yes. Would you say that it's possible alcohol can impair your judgment? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, kids, only pick fights if you think the cause is righteous. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>